Hi, uh, today is January 21st. This video is for a magnet man. He wanted to see this circuit. Try to get up here. You can see the, it's hard to see, but see the oscillator, the diodes running, and the lead. This isn't part of it. This is an Arduino secondary thing that I'm working here, but it's from this board up. These are the two capacitors. That's the coil. And uh, you can see the transistor right here. Yeah, that's 120 ohm. These are the two supplies to the circuit. That's a 10 ohm resistor wire around that I was messing around with. Uh, anyway, the power supply comes in on this red comes over to this full wave bridge rectifier. Okay, and the antenna wire is right here. And it basically just runs up and goes out through the house to the outside. And then the ground basically is this wire and it runs over to a ground pipe. Basically it goes through the foundation of the basement out into the ground. It's a good earth ground. This is a secondary circuit that our third tertiary circuit that I'm running. It's a, a tracking system. It tracks uh, ambient light, and rotates, another Arduino thing. But at any rate, uh, the key, uh, if you look at doing this, is of course the full wave bridge rectifier. This is very, very critical. Uh, le standard electrolytics will not work with this type of system for some reason. They, uh, they basically will not take a full charge. This thing will handle, I've had up to 35 volts on this uh, on any given day. Uh, today is probably around 21, but it's a, uh, you can't read it, but it's a 28 microfarad, 330 volt AC cap. It's used in uh, motor caps and it's a metal canister type. I picked them up years ago at a junkyard. But uh, they, they, that's uh, these style of the caps are the only ones that will work for the collector for this. Like I say, the le standard electrolytes just won't, they drain. They won't handle a charge for something or hold the charge. But anyway, that's how it works. And uh, I can disable the power right here coming in, in which it's disabled. And you can just see if I can find it again. Good. Try to get up. Damn it, I hate it when this happens. I'll turn this light off. You can see it oscillating, but the light is really... There we go. And uh, this is a 1 mega ohm pot, and that's what I use to control the bias to the, the base of the transistor. But that's basically it. and. Uh, I checked it this morning, and I got a little over 10 minutes operation off of those two little caps. And each one is 3,300 microfarad. So hopefully that will uh, answer your questions and uh, spur some ideas. Thanks a lot, Mega Man, for inspiring me. And uh, I'll, uh, if anything weird happens or develops, because i got some ideas I want to work with this oscillator, put on a secondary circuit to, so that I can collect more voltage out of it through a little uh, probably a Fuji-type circuit. As an add-on, we'll have to see. All right, well, I'll talk to you later.